In this video, I'm going to use Garmin Map Source to show you the background map that comes with our new X Package installer. When you first launch Map Source, you'll likely have just a blank screen, in which case you want to go up to your toolbar, click View, switch to Product, and you'll see the GPS Trail Masters, either Snowmobile or ATV map, listed here, along with the version that you currently have installed on your computer in this case version 7. You want to click that. So you'll see now that the trails are overlaid on top of a background map um, showing uh, major roads, uh, some prime, some secondary roads, but all lakes, rivers, and streams. So as you zoom in and out you'll get more and more detail regarding uh, these features as well as the different uh, places to eat and places to stay. So you'll see this well-known area up in Pittsburgh with Back Lake and, and Lake Francis. So this hand tool is what you use to scroll around and to zoom in and to zoom out. The other feature that you can use with Map Source is the route tool which is this tool here. And the route tool, one of its purposes is just to click on an initial starting point and then click on a destination as a second point and a route will be calculated for you and highlighted in this case in Magenta. Uh, you'll notice in this case that the auto route feature will not route across lakes. Uh, that's intentional. So if you did decide to take this route and cross this lake, the algorithm would recalculate when you get to the other side and put you back on track to get to your destination. Now the routes show up in the left hand pane here. There are four tabs, one of them for routes. You'll see one listed. This is the route we just created. If you double click on that, you'll get the start point, the end point, um, but you'll also get the turn by turn directions as you go through that route. Uh, this route can be named, um, you can change the color, and you can eventually download this route to your GPS, which will be a topic for a different video. So we are going to delete this route for now. So once it's highlighted, we just push the delete button, and that takes care of that. Next thing I want to show you is the map tool. So you'll want to zoom out to where you can see the entire snowmobile trail map and the background map. Now the map tool up here in the toolbar is this uh, little funny shaped thing here. If you click on that, there are two possible maps that you can select as indicated by the yellow outlining box. You have the inner map here, which is the trail map. And when you click on that box, it turns this shaded pink and you'll notice on the Maps tab that the trail map has been selected and at the bottom you see one map is selected in the size. To download the, the background map which contains the background information like the lakes, the rivers, the roads, you would select this larger outer rectangle in which case you'll see both the background map and the trail map selected two maps identified, and the size. Now these other two items down here are fairly important. You want to make sure that this check mark is checked, which includes route calculation data in the map that gets transferred down. And then optionally, you can, you can change this map set name, although there's really no need to. Uh, this would be the, the name that would likely show up uh, on your GPS. Now if you just want to download the trails, again, you would only select the trail map. If you wanted to download the trails and the background map, you would select two maps. So in this case, we're going to deselect the background map. And the next step is to click on the Send to Device tool. Now you have to have your GPS connected for it to be recognized here. When you click on that tool, it will um, a 
attempt to find your GPS. In this case, there's a Montana 600 connected to the computer, already selected. And in this case, I want to send maps to the device. If I were sending routes, I would also click this routes box. And then you click send. And it's that easy and that quick. One thing to point out about the background map, as you'll see through this route tool, is that the background map, these roads are not routable. So although there aren't very many roads, if you attempt to take a route by trail, it will route you by trail and it will not get confused by the underlying road map uh, used as the background. And that concludes the demonstration of MapSource.